Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1078. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how to deal with inflation, because according to different surveys, inflation is the number one thing on people's minds how to deal with it, what to do about it, what foods and items that we buy all the time are increasing in price. We all know that in the US, inflation has reached its highest level in more than 40 years. And while we did see that curb a little bit in July, there are still very high prices on things that we use every single day. According to one global consumer survey, 44% of US adults now think that inflation is among the most pressing issues that need to be addressed. This survey was conducted with 45,650 U.S. adults age 18 to 64, and it was conducted between April of 2021 and March of 2022. And it says that 44.3% of Americans believe that inflation slash cost of living is the most important issue that needs to be addressed. That is over health and social security, which is 39.7%, economic situation, 39.7%, crime, 36.2%, unemployment, 33%, poverty, 32.4%, education, 31.7%, climate change, 29.7%, immigration, 28.5%, and housing, 27.8%. So you can see that inflation and cost of living is at the top of the list, and there were a lot of important things on that list. But according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, we've seen energy prices go up 41.6%, and gasoline alone is up 59.9% over the last year. Other things like used vehicle prices are up nearly 7.1% for the year, and new vehicle prices have increased 11.4%. Food prices have increased 10.4% year over year, but that's really dependent on what food you're looking at. Now, I did look up a list of the 10 foods most and least affected by inflation, so I'm going to give you information on that. So this article tells us that according to the U.S. Department of Labor, every category increased 8.5% on average from March 2021 through March 2022. And the hardest hit categories are things like food, gas, and shelter, all the things that we can't do without. Food prices have seen the largest price increase, 8.8% in the last 12 months. Foods most affected by inflation are number one, citrus fruits. They have gone up 19.5% in price in the last year. Oranges of all kinds in particular are seeing the biggest change compared to lemons, limes, and grapefruit. The second largest increase in price was on bacon and sausage. Bacon, sausage, and other processed pork products have been the hardest hit in the meat category, up 16.5% higher than last year. Bacon in particular has gone up the most at an 18% increase. Number three is crackers and bread, and that's due to wheat and grain products that we tend to import from Russia and them being responsible for about 30% of global wheat and grain exports, prices have increased as we import from other places. Number four is beef and veal, which are up 16% overall for the category year over year, with beef up 16% year over year and veal up 18.8% year over year. And number five, some fats and oils. So in the fats and oils category, 
the price rise has been 14.9% year over year with margarines and nut butters seeing the largest price growth, each going up 15.8%. And there are five foods that are least affected by inflation. Number one, tomatoes. Tomato prices have only increased about 1.7% over the last year. Number two, cheese. Cheese prices have not been terribly affected by inflation, even though other dairy products like whole milk have increased 14.5%. The third thing that hasn't increased that much is ice cream. It's gone up about 3.1% in the last year. The fourth thing that hasn't increased much are potatoes. Potatoes have only seen a 3.4% increase in price over the last year. And the fifth food that has not increased that much in price, canned fish and seafood. Apparently canned tuna, salmon, and other tinned seafood have not gone up very much. Now that's really interesting because we have to distinguish between the canned fish and seafood and fresh fish and seafood because the fresh fish and seafood that I've seen has dramatically gone up in price. So much so that when I was at a restaurant recently and ordered a dish that had crab in it, they commented that they were just recently able to put the crab back in the recipe, that they had to take it out because crab had gotten so difficult to get and so expensive that they couldn't put it in this particular cold tomato soup but that the price had recently come down and they were able to have it again. So just to go over this again in review really quickly, in case you're thinking about recipes and menus and ways to save money, the worst affected foods by inflation are citrus fruits, bacon and sausage, crackers and bread, beef and veal, some fats and oils. And the least affected foods by inflation have been tomatoes, cheese, ice cream, potatoes, and canned fish and seafood. So while we have seen oil prices come down from $120 a barrel to around $90 a barrel, that is the biggest piece of inflation that affects just about everything. So it's good news that it's moving in the right direction. And my forecasts look like it's going to continue to decline even more. So while we're all dealing with higher prices, there are some ways that you can be smart about figuring out what foods to shift more toward that haven't gone up as much in price. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.